Glen Levitt 12 year old was one of the first single malt scotch whiskeys that I tried that kind of set me down my path of what is scotch and what do I like in the realm of scotch. So today we're getting into Glen Levitt 12. Welcome back to Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. I'm Steven and today we do a review of Glen Levitt 12 year old double oak. But before we get to that, please do me a favor, like and subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate you guys for your support. But let's get back to this bottle and that is Glen Levitt 12 year old double oak. So in the name, obviously it is a 12 year old scotch from Glen Levitt. It is a single malt scotch that is 40% ABV. It is matured in both American oak and French oak for 12 years and it comes out roughly around $32 which is a really really cheap budgety scotch and it's honestly kind of one of the first few scotches I got that was more than like Johnny Walker or something like that that kind of set me off down this road of what scotch can be because I'm clearly more of a bourbon drinker but from time to time I do like my scotches so we're gonna go ahead and get into this bottle and I'm gonna let you know what I think about it. Ooh, on the nose, it's super sweet vanilla caramel. Little bit of like a lemony citrus. Little bit of like a grassy hay kind of note, like an earthy dried out grass which I get that a lot in a lot of scotches because they're typically a little earthier and they use malted barley, which kind of like leaves with this like hay aspect to me, but I don't necessarily dislike it. Getting a nice little bit of like an almondy type flavor, like an almond nut, nutty almond. Ooh, but overall it's very very sweet which is surprising because if you've watched any of my other videos which you know I'll put a ping to those up here you know I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of lower ABV whiskeys but this is bringing out a lot for 40% I'm very impressed with the nose but let's go ahead and get on the palate so on the palate there it starts off with this really really nice like rich creaminess then it kind of goes a little like into like a like subdued vanilla it like kind of falls off a little bit and then it just ramps straight up into this like heavy oaky nutty barley type aspect it's very interesting this is kind of it's almost roller coastery like it takes your palate it starts off like wow creamy sweet vanilla and then it kind of like fades into this just like okay that's vanilla and as the finish progresses it goes like this oaky nutty aspect with a little bit of that like still that hay barley earthy aspect that I'm getting. On my second sip I'm starting to pull out like some like fruity aspects a little bit of like a citrusy lemon maybe a little bit of a peach in there but overall very very delightful and honestly for 40% a finish Pretty good, I'm not complaining. So this is performing significantly better than I anticipated. Honestly, 40%, I wasn't thinking very highly of it, um, just because it's not really a realm I stay in very often. But I am very surprised. It's bringing a lot of nice creamy vanilla, sweetness, honey, um, a lot of like fruity peaches and lemon, citrus, things of that nature. A little bit of like an almondy oak aspect and definitely still that like barley hay-esque flavor that I typically get on a lot of single malt scotches, which you know, that's just part of the category. You neither love it nor hate it. It's just kind of somewhere in between for me. $35, an entry level scotch that's kind of bringing an entry level flavor. That's at a little bit of lower proof, which honestly with what this brings at a lower proof, I would love to see this at cash strength or something similar to this at cash strength. I think it would be a fantastic bottling. Um, but this particular bottling, $32, with it just being kind of simple, entry level-esque, um, I'm gonna give it just a flat B. It's not the best scotch I've had at that level, but it definitely is something that's really, really good for an entry level price. 
I still think I would prefer something a little bit more aggressive, like a monkey shoulder over this, or like um, the Glamorangi La Santa. I like that one a little bit better because it brings a little bit of like darker fruits on this. But overall, B for Glen Love at 12. I think it's really good. Entry level scotch, entry level proof, entry level price. I think overall, honestly, this is probably one of the best scotches for someone who's trying to get into scotch. Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans as a whole gives Glen Lovett, 12 year old, a B. It's an entry level scotch for an entry level price. And you know, you can't really complain much more than that. B's a good, it's a good one. I don't necessarily want to have this on my shelf, nor do I care to have this on the shelf. Like this isn't a keeper, but this is definitely not something I am disappointed with drinking at all. But that being said, that's a wrap for this video. Please do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you thought about this video. I know we don't really do a lot of Scotch content because that's not really our realm, nor you know, am I necessarily the best at grading Scotches because you know, for me, $32 is more like an Elijah Craig status, which is bourbon. So that's just kind of the realm I live in. But um, also check out our Instagram and our Facebook, as well as our Patreon. We appreciate your guys' support. That's a wrap for it here, though. Cheers, y'all. We'll see you later.